Let's light them up. What is up everybody? James Jackson here. I'm back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, I do tips and tricks for the film and video making industry. So if you like the content here, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you can stay up to date on all the content going forward. Uh, I just, yes, yeah, so um, today I want to sort of go into talking about lighting, a, a lighting product. I've been wanting to do a reviews of these lighting things, but I had to do some tests first. Uh, but I'm super excited to talk about these guys right here. These are the Nanlite Pavel tubes. I have been using these for the past month. Uh, you've probably seen a few of my videos with these guys uh, on, on the set. If, if you watch sort of more of my recent videos, but I've recently also used this on a um, on a music video set that I shot over the weekend. And there's I, there's a lot of things I love about these lights that I can't wait to talk about. And there's some things that got on my uh, nerves a little bit. Again, we'll talk about that as well. But for those of you that don't want to necessarily sit through the whole video, these guys are amazing lights. They have an amazing color accuracy and color retentions. Uh, they have a wide variety of, of options to do it. They got they got CCT. Uh, it's a bicolor, so you can go all the way from daylight and tungsten lighting and a few in between and after. But also, it is an RGB light, which is one of the great things about this light. And it has a few other effects with it as well. And uh, so it's a very versatile light for what it is used for. And the fact that this is a non-powered light is one of the best things about it compared to a lot of competitions out there. And it's at a relatively affordable price range. There are some things I wish there was a little bit better with the controls and I wish the battery life was a little bit better or some, and then some user interfaces that I wish was a little bit better. But outside of that, uh, this is a great light. I would recommend anybody that is maybe interested in doing more lighting and learning more about lights. This is a great light to have. So let's start talking about, like I said, this is a four foot RGB bicolored tube. And it is an amazing piece of light. Let's just start off with the body itself. First thing that you'll notice, there is no cable link that you have to attach to power it on it was one of that's one of the things that while the quasar signs are really nice and light there's one of the things that annoyed me the most about them was the fact that they had to be powered on with this little thing then the, the cord that is provided for them is very very short and it's it, it it's very annoying trying to set up and stage the, those lightings without showing the those cables this however is completely to, uh, cordless you can do it with now it does come with a charging cable so you can plug it in the charge um, but the battery is internal so you don't need to plug this in you can run this off of the, you can run this just right off of the internal battery on its own and it is uh, pretty and I love that about it the next thing I know I love about the body is the back portion right here it may be a little bit hard to see but there's actually instructions on how to get to each one of the different settings right on the back. So it is, that is great. The only problem is, is a bit reflective. Um, so if you aim it, so if you have the light aim it right there, it's kind of a little bit harder to see, but if you just move it out of the way, then, you know, it's definitely no smoke, but it's great to have something where you can just know how to get to everything in there. But enough about the harbor. I know you guys are interested. Let's talk. Let's see. Let's see the look. Let's see the look. So we're going to start off with CCT. Right now we are at a 4,800 Kelvin at 51%. So this is 48 Kelvin at 51%. Let's go all the, the let's bring, yeah, keep it at 50%. Let's go to all the way at the top, which is 6,500 Kelvin is the max. And then we can go all the way down to 2,700 Kelvin. So a nice little range so you can get your daylight, you can get your tungsten. And again, this is 50% right now. And now you'll see it, woo, ooh, ah, woo, yeah, that's bright, woo, that's bright. That is 100%. And then 
we can so but let's bring it down to 15 percent but as you and this is 15 percent brightness and you can still see it's pretty damn bright for a light that it is so that is a great thing to have that you can have something like this powerful for you know at that at that low percentage now you can go all the way down to one percent as you can see it is at one percent and as you're probably seeing in the camera as well there is no flickering whatsoever so that's a great great thing to have about this guy um first ne little negative i have is that the knobs here is sort of really easy to you know go past the setting you may want to especially with the dimming it just it just flat and glides through so it's kind of hard to you got to be very very careful and sort of go to the setting you want because you can easily pass it and you'll notice this especially when we switch to rgb so right now we're in rgb we're in the hue saturation dimming so and the way this works is it, you move the left knob here to sort of select which setting you want to go to change the settings and then you use the right knob to go to which setting you want to change so like right now we'll go to hue and we'll cycle through and then we'll go through this way and it's got all the colors that you want to, you can probably have fun with but like i said it's very easy to skim past what you want and then let's go to saturation let's desaturate maybe you want to desaturate or you can go all the way like completely desaturated or you can go all the way to 100 percent and get a nice little cool blue i like this i actually like this blue it's kind of star wars in very all right that's enough james by the way i'm actually speaking of star wars i little side plug forgive me but i'm actually doing a, a recap show of the new uh episodic star wars show the mandalorian um i was going to do the first episode but when i realized there's a second episode coming friday i was decided to just wait to give my thoughts on the first episode after viewing the second episode so tune in i'm probably i'm going to try to release it friday e evening so tune in and uh to the Deluminous channel that's where i'll be posting it and i also post it on my uh instagram page so if you're following me on instagram you can put it there if you're a star wars fan uh, I'm definitely excited and intrigued about this show. Um, let's have some thoughts about the first episode, but we'll get to that on the second, uh, after this airing the second episode and see how things go. Uh, so just a little plug. So if you want to see my story, my show on The Mandalorian, please go to my Instagram page or check out the D-Luminous channel. That's where it will be uploaded. But again, back to the light so we got that so you again you can go through all the saturations the hue and the dim and you can set the, the how much power and outage you want it and now you can also go to some special effects so we got a flash mode right here so we got a cop car mode this is sort of the fire effect we got a flash timer so you could have sort of a red make it cooler kind of a red effect And then change that and S we got SOS mode interesting so if you're ever lost if you're ever lost at sea or you're deserted on a deserted island as long as you got some power on this you can do an SOS so we got a storm effect so if you want to add that in you can add some storm effects so which brings me to my other downside about this particular about the special effects um they seem to not be as detailed on how they work each one sort of behaves a little differently and it's not necessarily even though this sort of explains it kind of you know you gotta again if you're in a under if you're in a blind side where you can't see it it's really hard to sort of distinguish what uh the lighting effects i wish there was an easier way instead of just hitting the enter button and then it's like boom and you get the lighting effect that way uh, so I wish some of the effects had a better um, way of manipulating it compared to how it is. But overall, again, you can't complain for the effects that it has. It's a pretty good light. Really, this is mainly for like R the RGB in the CCT mode is really what you want to go in. 
for two of these, I got two of these for about $780. But again, comparing that to say, um, one of the Quasar Science RGB tubes, which is the next competitor, that's for one of those is about $500. You can see sort of where this is sort of a better, kind of a little bit more of a friendlier option. And, I, and it's great that it has an internal battery. I, as I mentioned, I used this on a, a video set and it was cool because I was able to shoot this on diff, in different modes. We used the CCT mode to sort of give a nice little fill for some of the shots. Um, we actually used the RGB lights for a really cool shot of a motorcycle that we were able to rent. And we sort of used like this like green, neon, bluish uh, color and to put it on the light to give it this sort of futuristic vibe of the light. It was a really cool shot and I, we loved it. Um, my final, final complaint about this light is the battery life. Um, there was multiple times where the battery just died and I had these guys charged like all day, just ch fully charged and they just, they just went out. And the one thing I really wish that was have is we had a better, something that could tell us the battery life. Uh, you, right on this, right in, on the main stage, you have to go all the way into the back. You have to go all the way into the menu system and then you'll see the battery. Like right now it's at 65%, which is pretty good. A uh, pretty good set light setting. I just wish it was sort of able to see just right on the, on the front page. But again, these are minor nitpicks that I have been discussing. Um, overall, I love these lights. I think these are really, really great lights. These, you can get a four foot one, a set of four foot ones and um, a set of two ones. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention is the bag that it comes with is pretty kick ass. Uh, this, is the ba this is the bag that it comes with. And what's cool is that there's individual slots. So you can have, right now there's a slot for three of them. So you could put three different RGB lights all in one in this one casing. So if you so to you know for convenience of travel, this is a great little tool to have. I know there's some cases that allow you to have up to eight, uh, and some with four. But honestly, I, I'm I'm perfectly fine with the two that I have. So as you can see here, you can put it in the bag. You can throw it over your bag, your back and go off it's very so it's very travel friendly overall i would say these lights have been amazing and they're definitely going to be used a lot more on my different productions especially music video shoots they give such a different flavor that i can use with my creativity um, if you're interested in these lights i'll definitely leave a link in the description below to where they get them on amazon i just ask you to just use the affiliate link um, so a little bit of commission can come my way but thank you guys for watching make sure to leave a like Leave a comment below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, take care, everyone.